Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of Skies of Arcadia Legends. We are currently somewhere over the Nanza Kingdom and we are headed all the way down here to the Lands of Ice. Uh, last time out we fought a um, a black pirate ship. And I made the mistake of thinking there was a special crew attack I could do in ship battles. I was wrong. So, we are just going to mosey on as if nothing ever happened. I think I want to head a little bit more west. West, south, west. Now the area that we're going to, we'll find the enemies are actually pretty easy to beat because you can actually get to this area outside of the usual flow of the game. So they put some fairly easy enemies in. I'm going to switch spice to red in preparation. I think some of these guys have some magic that I don't want to tangle with. So, do this. In the actual dungeon itself, um, everything's scaled properly. But outside the dungeon, things are a little easy. If I remember right. Yeah. Fina. Twenty one damage. Yeah, here things are very easy because we're very much in a low level area of the game. Everybody wail on it. Vice wails on it first. There's also an interesting ship battle actually around the uh, the area that we're going to. Let's see if I can find it. Eternities. So let's see. That was Fina just learned a new magic spell. Couldn't be. It was. Ah, oh, she's got one more to get. Ica's fully... Ica and Vina are both fully up on their green magic. Enrique and Vice are very close to levelling up their green. So I might have someone switch to green just for the meantime. Ah, that's the... Uh, that's Maroon Island. It's one of the discoveries I missed first time round. So let's try not to spend too much time going through... Uh, South Ocean and it's massive winds. <coughs> we'll go through here. Get a new fight. Yeah, I think it's getting a bit more interesting. Come on, controller. I'm having some serious problems with this controller. Ah, uh, yeah. I think Dirt Rally, and it was having the same disconnect problems on vibration. So I think I need to get a new controller soon. Which is a shame. Not that I was particularly attached to this controller, but, you know, just having to get a new controller is a bit of a change. Ingram, eh? So he boosts that guy. I wonder if this guy's gonna run. This guy is gonna try and run and fail miserably. This guy's gonna try and run after being boosted and still fail. Hopefully Vice can get off Reign of Swords quickly. Before any of the loopers get any ideas about fleeing. There we go. Okay, 
right, let's see where we are. Yep, we just need to follow this round, basically. A whole lot of nothing out here. No landmarks or anything. Okay. Here, yeah. Ah, it's looking icy. Should be some discoveries around here I can make. I'm sure of it. There's something up there above the clouds I can't quite get to just yet. I'm sure I saw that somewhere before. Ooh, the lands of ice. So yeah, we should see just how easy some of these guys are. Still going to use Delta Shield. Just in case. Oh, they're all gathering around. Like a... Yeah, not particularly strong, these guys. Killites. Not a lot of health either. Ooh. These things are kind of cute. Stallo. That'd be interesting to see if it didn't get blocked. Good going, Eka, with that. Uh... Good going, Eka, with your shield. God, even Phoenix can one hit these guys. You know they're weak when Phoenix can do it. Delta shield from you again. No point in exposing ourselves unnecessarily. Ow. That looked painful. Sorry, you want to kill that penguin, please? So I'm going to kill it. Haha. <laughs> Uns. Sorry. Still get a decent amount of experience from these guys though, despite uh, despite their ease. Right. He's, this boss is somewhere above the lands of ice. There it is. I mean, that's pretty weird, right? Let's have a little save. Let's have some fun with this guy. <laughs> yeah, it's got some weird attack names. Really sure what that's all about. Attack. I mean, 
Something is going to unleash something on us. Maybe using the deluxe kit was uh, a little over eager. Yeah, we need to use a regular kit. Or we could have left it a couple of turns. Take an 8,000 damage. So now we know the lay on, we know what it does. Try and get behind it. Whatever the behind actually is. <laughs> Vice don't take no shit. It was the back. Let's send this thing packing. Don't know if this will do enough damage or not, but we'll see. It's not having a good time, is it? Oh, it could be having a very good time. It's dancing a lot. Oh, it's got about 50,000 health, okay. How'd you miss from there? on it. Oh, okay, you're terrible. Oh, it is using some regular attacks. <clears throat> Didn't have any red squares this round, though. Wow. Yeah, at least we were able to do some damage this time. It's beginning to flee. Alright. Ancient cannons don't really do an awful lot against it, so we're better off with the regular cannons. Ooh. Hello. Cannons and torpedoes against it. Should do a bit more than 750 damage this time, right? There we go. Oh, torpedoes! How did we miss that? Better not miss the next turn. Probably have two cannons on it. One of them missed. That was a pain. Oh well. Another good volley should take this guy out. No, he didn't use another attack, he just assesses his damage. It's like some kind of upside down spider.
with a weird dream catcher for an abdomen. Vice, show them the meaning of accuracy. Thank you. Vice, stay with it. Damn it. Let's hope we get our shot off first, but never mind. It's not exactly. dangerous spot to be in. Oh, you missed, Vice. Come on, you're hopeless. I mean, it's right in front of you. I mean, I guess you could shoot through the gaps. <sighs> Surrounded by idiots. if we actually saw evasive action being taken instead of a, a green shield popping up around you, wouldn't it? Then I guess the battle system would get infinitely more complicated. We need to make sure that we have a uh, Moonstone Cannon chance next time out. loot on it too much here. Probably a good idea because we'll probably miss most of our shots. Torpedo. Please don't miss. Yay! Ooh, excellent. I did take it out. And we just sent a creature to its grave. Nice little block of experience for everyone there. Didn't drop anything, though. That's a pain. I probably should have put Khalifa in. There are a couple of items that you only get if you have Khalifa in your crew. But never mind. Right. So now I need to try and find the Ruins of Ice. <laughs> find the Aurora. There's something here. Ruins of ice. <laughs> that was easy. So we have a charm around here somewhere. Somewhere. Oh. Uh, yes, uh, this is how Vice park. Oh. This is how Vice parked the Delphinus. Just kind of slow. How did we get in here? There isn't a door there, is there? Three moonberries. Oh, the cupel claymore. I don't think anyone can learn any more special super moves, can they? Oh, she can. Mm.
I'm going to his next one. Maybe worth getting it just so I can get to the end of Ica's chain. Come on, camera. Thank you. So, welcome to the Ruins of Ice. Where we will have three doors to choose from and a crystal in front of us to help guide the way. And it does so by asking us questions. Yes, that rock did just say something. Yes, it's the power of ice. Purple moon holds the power of ice. And we Once again, Vice goes sliding on his feet instead of his butt. It'll be fun aside from the friction burns. They really do make this thing very convoluted, don't they? I'm not entirely sure what that is. The purple crest hides a certain number. Now, I... <sighs> hmm. I don't remember, or I don't remember how you get the answer to this. But I do know what the I do remember from going through this that it's maybe two. I can't remember what has that number in it though. Is that the purple crest? No. Hmm. I think it was pretty far deep. Surprised the whole thing hasn't frozen over. One more question to go. I don't think there's any way to ever know this one, but it's will and spirit. Because it's all to do with magic. If you get the question wrong, it answers up another door, and uh, you end up going the wrong way for a bit. Until you loop around on yourself and get back to the start. I should still be Vice the Fallen, Fallen Pirate. Yes. Fina, give us a heal. Not that we all needed that much health, but it doesn't hurt to have it. Um, but I think you get a swashbuckler rating increase normally if you're not the Fallen Pirate. Um, forgetting all of those correctly. It's so bright. Well, we can't let something like fatal air conditions stop us. Wow, move on. Uh, he fell, didn't you see? Oh. <sighs> oh, 
That lifted very quickly. Now this appears a lot more complicated than it is. Most of these places we'll never see. We'll never get to. Yeah, there we go. People of Glacier were mages, and so they valued will and spirit. Spooky. At least Vice has his head on and his mind on the task. Well, this seems like a great place to leave it. We'll uh, explore the Kingdom of Glacia on the next episode of Skyrim Arcadia Legends. See you next time, folks, and thank you very much for watching.